Well, there are many major pressing issues facing the global civil aviation community today. Uh, and uh, we think that the best way to address many of these issues is not for countries or airlines or for regulators to do it unilaterally, but for us to get together, have important conversations together and work out common solutions that we can work together on and progress the global civil aviation community. I think the big three issues facing us today are firstly, global hubs. We all know that global aviation is going to grow very quickly in the coming decades. Countries are all ramping up in terms of uh, infrastructure. But there are many challenges to how global civil aviation operates, uh, which will impact on the air hubs. There is technology. Aviation businesses are changing the way they operate. There is, uh, for example, a lot more point-to-point -point traffic now. And also, at the same time, there is a uh, a lot more competition between air hubs today. So the question in our minds is, how is global civil aviation going to respond? How are air hubs going to respond to these challenges? The other big issue that we want to talk about is on drones. Uh, we know that drones uh, have a lot of potential uh, to benefit civil aviation, but also at the same time, drones do present safety issues for civil aviation. And the question is how we can balance the benefits and mitigate the, ch the challenges that these risks bring to us uh, at the same time. Other important topic that we very much want to talk about is on environment. As you know, ICAO is taking the lead on the uh, working together a, a global agreement on the aircraft aviation emissions. Um, we know that this is an extremely difficult topic uh, in, uh, over the last few years. In fact, in the 2014 ICAO Assembly, it was a particularly difficult uh, meeting because of this issue. Um, the question in our minds, of course, is that uh, ICAO has committed to coming up with an agreement by this year. And uh, we want to talk about what has changed to drive an agreement, a successful agreement. And particularly since uh, uh, the Paris uh, Agreement was only just concluded uh, uh, very recently whether this too would have an impact on the work in ICAO. We're very excited. Uh, the preparations have been going on very well. The response uh, has been go very good. We have to date more than 150 VIPs, which, we're going, which is going to make this the largest aviation summit ever. Just to give you a sense, just among the Director Generals of Civil Aviation, we have uh, nearly 50 already and that's about a quarter of the Director General's Association around the world. Um, in terms of the participation all in, we think we're going to easily cross 400, which is great uh, from our perspective. So we're very, very excited.